Hi everybody, uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the Port of Los Angeles. Um, and uh, unfortunately I just found out that uh, the thing flips around a little bit when I press some keys. But uh, anyway, this is the Port of Los Angeles. Um, if you're not familiar with where Los Angeles is, um, this is the map. You can kind of see uh, it's here down this is Los Angeles, and then you can zoom out and see California and the rest of the United States. So basically that's the United States, and the Port of Los Angeles is right down in here. So um, a little bit hard to see, but you can kind of get an idea about uh, where it's located. Um, there is a pretty cool map uh, you can see here. Um, Marine traffic's so kind of seeing the the different shipping lanes and ports and all that. So you can kind of see uh, all the traffic coming in and out here. This is just marinetraffic.com. Uh, so the thing that got me started on all this was basically there was a Wikipedia page um, and uh, it had a listing of all the ports. And I took that and looked, noticed that. Uh, you know, basically these are the list of the busiest container ports, uh, and you can see that many of them are in China. In fact, of the top six, all of them are in China, except for one in Singapore. Um, and then you can see Los Angeles is the 10th busiest port in the world. So if you look here, you can see um, about, uh, it's, you know, more than twice the amount of uh, goods are, are shipped out of, say, Shanghai or Singapore. Um, but Long, Long Beach does have quite a, uh, you know, Port of Los Angeles and Long Beach does have quite a lot of uh, shipping going on. Um, so the port is basically like this. You can see the Port of Los Angeles is on this side and the Port of Long Beach is on this side. And you can see uh, that each of these companies have their own little areas. So for example, China Shipping is in this zone number one. Uh, zone number two is uh, Yang Ming and three you can see uh, Trap Pack and so on, Evergreen and others, and so basically, uh, it really depends on where you're going to be uh, operating from. But there is uh, kind of a major road that runs in and out through here. You can see this road kind of runs around here. Uh, so let's just take a little bit better view of the aerial, so you can kind of see uh, some of the stuff that's going on here. So you can see most of it looks like it's done uh, up Port of Los Angeles here. Um, but there is quite a lot of uh, facility over on this side too. Um, now uh, you can also see that there's uh, kind of some residential, uh, you know, boating over here as well, um, and quite a number of docking bays um, in here and some other areas. Um, so this is a live view showing exactly what's going on right now, um, so you kind of get some idea. So. Basically, uh, these are cargo vessels. Uh, it may depend on the time of day, too. Uh, and you can see the red is uh, tankers. Uh, and they're kind of just waiting out here, um, maybe for uh, permission to dock. Um, but you can see some of the areas where the tankers are in here and in here. Um, but quite a lot of cargo. Um, you can see also there's some passenger vessels back in here. Um, and uh, even some... Uh, you know, uh, these are pleasure crafts, you know, just personal, personal uh, ones in pink. Um, and then you also got some fishing vessels uh, in here in Los Angeles as well. Um, there is a pretty nice document called the Port Master Plan, um, and you can download that and then get this image here. And then they got a whole bunch of uh, different details uh, that look pretty helpful. Uh, in terms of understanding exactly how the port works. Um, they also got a lot of statistics in there uh, for each country and region. Um, so in that uh, document, uh, the Port Master Plan, they, they list the uh, dry bulk exports and imports by region, and they also do by type. Um, so you can see here uh, quite a lot to Japan uh, in terms of uh, exports, and then you can see on the import side, it's uh, pretty much, uh, they got some stuff from China here. Uh, and you can see by the year, uh, so basically, you know, it started off, this is 2005, and this is their estimates for 2030. Um, so that's pretty helpful to see. You can see that they got basically three times, almost three times the amount of 
stuff being uh, imported from China as they are, uh, excuse me, <laughs> as they're exporting from China. So it's pretty interesting. It might be interesting to grab this data um, and look at it in a little more detail. And then you can see by the type, um, so you can see here that pretty much it's uh, not non-metallic products. Uh, and then iron and steel is actually quite a lot too, um, shipping in terms of imports. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this little presentation about the Port of Los Angeles. Um, it's just a quick overview. Let me know if you got some details that you're interested in. I'd be glad to talk to you about some of that. Thanks a lot.